Hello, my name is Liz. I'm a program manager for the Azure Governance team. Today, I'm here to showcase you our new exciting capability, which is Azure Policy for Azure Kubernetes Service. By integrating Azure Policy and Gatekeeper on Open Policy Agent, we are able to have at scale control and compliance assessment across your entire environment. There are three main capabilities in the functionalities of this feature. The first is around the real-time enforcement and compliance assessment. When a developer tries to create a non-compliant object, whether that be pods, ingress, or namespaces, we are able to deny the creation before it even takes place. The second portion is the compliance assessment. For many of you, when you are assigning this policy, you already have quite a few AKS clusters. For those, we will run the full evaluation to let you know which of the objects are currently non-compliant for you to fix. From there on, we run full evaluation every 20 minutes so that um, you can check as to how you are staying compliant on your environment. We also provide a compliance reporting so that across your entire environment, you can see an aggregated view of how your uh, Kubernetes clusters are doing. You can drill down on that report so that you have a granularity down to the pods and ingresses of the non-compliant objects. The second portion is applying the policies at scale. By integrating with management group, you're able to have a single policy assignment impact your entire tenant. This way, you can also manage the life cycle of your policies much easier. Second is the concept of initiative, which is essentially grouping of your policies. This allows you to group your, your policies together and make a single assignment to where you're interested in. Additionally, as your policy definitions grow over time, your assignments will automatically inherit whatever is the latest so that you don't have to worry about keep tracking of the versions. Third is our exclusion. For those um, special snowflakes that you have, you're able to exclude the cluster, resource group, subscription, or even management group from the policy assignment. The last pillar is our integration with Azure DevOps. To easily manage your policy as code, we have built-in deployment tasks available for you to create policy definition and assignment within Azure DevOps. Also, when a developer is using Azure DevOps, uh, we provide the enforcement message in a first-class experience so they know exactly which policy has caused their deployment to fail. Now let's take a quick look at what it looks like on the policy environment. Once you've assigned your policy, this is how your environment will look like, where I, for my case, I have dozens of policies that are currently evaluating against my subscriptions. So let me search for the particular policy that I'm currently interested in, which is the whitelisted container images for my clusters. And I can see over here that I have a non-compliant cluster so here I can see that I have my uh, compliant clusters as well. Now let's go back to the non-compliant cluster that you just saw earlier. Not only can I see the cluster level, but I can also drill down to the granularity of the pods as well so that I know exactly which ones I need to go fix. If I go back to the view that you just saw earlier, I can also see how this policy has been authored. It's a fairly simple policy definition where all I'm checking is the fact that this is an AKS cluster, and then I'm enforcing the regular policy where I provide the GitHub link. If I open up the GitHub link, um, you'll be able to see that this is denying any pods that is not using uh, one of the whitelisted container images. And then if you get non-compliant, you will get appropriate error message as a part of that so that the developer knows precisely what policy has caused the non-compliance. To get started, all you have to do is search for the policy that you're interested in. So the one that you just saw was the whitelisted container images. This policy definition it will be already on your environment so that you don't have to author this definition on your own. 
So now from here, all I have to do is assign this particular policy definition. I'll provide a scope, which can be a resource, resource group, subscription, or management group. And I can also have an exclusion on that particular scope as well. The interesting part here is that we support parameters so that you can specify precisely which container images need to be whitelisted. From there, you just assign the policy to get started. Now, this capability is currently in limited preview. And hence, uh, your subscription needs to be whitelisted to join the preview. When you go into the policy experience that you saw earlier, we have a TOC item on the menu that says Join Preview. All you have to do is select the subscription that you're interested in and onboard. From there, you'll be able to add the policy add-on, which is essentially an agent with the gatekeeper and policy components in there to be able to manage the components within your cluster. And then last portion is assigning the policy as you have seen earlier. And that's it. For you to learn more, uh, please go to our documentation link. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great Microsoft Build 2019.